guys! Welcome back to my channel and it's been a while since I've done like a non-vlog video and you know since I have makeup on today I do cool stuff I thought I could remove my eyebrows <laughs> so yeah I wanna try the tint my brow gel yeah tint my brows gel from Etude House so you've seen a lot of peel off makeup and this is just one of them why isn't it? yeah so this is just one of the peel off makeup that you know you tint your brows and you don't have to wear them you don't have to draw them for a week so the color I got is number three which I believe is like grey yeah grey brown because my hair is a little dark on top so <laughs> I'm quite apprehensive about trying it but I mean since I bought it right and so far the reviews I've seen were not so bad it's just a very interesting product and yeah so this is what it looks like and it's just a very thick gel and you have to leave this on for like any time between 2 to 8 hours I believe yeah for at least 2 to 2 hours so stronger coloration apply before going to bed and remove the next morning so <sighs> let's have fun <laughs> doing this I am gonna remove my eyebrows so yeah let me just get the remover I have my mirror here so I'm just gonna face here to remove it so I do have like a uh, eyebrow gel on and a bit of eyebrow product but God, can you see like the mark? Because I came back from a shoot, so I have foundation on and removing it just <laughs> looks really funny. Uh, make sure you use a water based remover so like you can get all the product out. I mean, so you don't have like any product on your skin left. So I think that's about it. She mostly foundation came off, like not much on my eyebrows. So I didn't draw them too much. <sighs> afraid okay at least like next week I don't really have a lot of meetings or whatever so it should last for about a week let me get a tissue to dry my brows let me read the box properly what's the box apply a liberal amount and yeah actually nothing much so here it goes let me bring my mirror forward. <sighs> so freaked. I've actually seen like other YouTubers do this. And yeah, it actually looks okay. My sister's still gonna laugh at me later. The gel is very thick, as you can see. I feel like I need intense concentration for this. Oh! <laughs> that looks so intense. I mean, I always feel like I was not bad at drawing my brows, but... You know what, let me get a Q-tip to clean off any mess. Just in case, you know. <laughs> so I just want to shuffle here. Up here. Okay, not much. And down here. I guess with this you have to like don't be stingy about it. And if you need to just use a new Q tip right. Okay. I <laughs> think this brow looks fine. Except for this little tail here. Have I gotten the tail off? Oh shit. It looks so dark. We're all in. <laughs> This is just so gonna laugh at me. I've never been too good at making my eyebrows even. Let's just throw it out there, okay? Okay. 
if it comes out horrible, you guys have a week's worth of vlogs to laugh at. Oh dear. Oh, there's so much thicker. There's a lot of cleanup to do. You want to go firm and then just remove them. Oh my god, I think this, no, it's still uneven here. This seems like it's as even as it's gonna get for me. How do I look? <laughs> so yeah, um, that's the time now. I got my watch. It is now 1.39, I will check in 2 hours, so bye! Okay, hey guys, I am back and it's nearly been 2 hours So I think I'm gonna just start peeling the brows off and see how it goes So yeah, let me get nearer And you can see it's like dry already And I'll start peeling it off Oh my god, I think I got the wrong colour. I should have gotten brown. Oh, it didn't come off in one piece. As you can see, it looks quite drawn actually. But it might be a little dark for my hair colour. Let me just get the rest. It's relatively easy to pull off. I filled my eyebrows in. <laughs> so it is recommended that you put a thicker layer to make it easier to peel off. But know, let me just finish peeling like the rest here. Actually, it looks not bad, especially if you don't want to draw your brows every day. But again, maybe I got the wrong color. Maybe I'll go pick up the brown one. I was contemplating between this or the brown one but I guess I went for this because it matches my hair colour more on the top So yeah, I'm gonna do the other side now It didn't even stain my hand so that's quite good because um, I've seen a lot of videos where the lip tin ones stain their hands I guess peeling and the direction of your hair growth makes it easier. My nails are quite long here, so it's a little harder to peel off. You can see. Thank god I didn't leave it for any longer than this then, it's really quite dark. I might have to use like eyebrow mascara to match the colours, but eh. It looks natural though. This is a grey brown. I should wait for brown next time. I have a pimple here. You guys can see it. Yeah, this is it. I try just to look at my eyebrows drawn. Which I guess is the intended uh, effect, right? But my eyebrows, as in the length of my eyebrows, are not very even here. So let me just get closer so you guys can see how it looks. Let me face the light. 
So it's really quite natural. Can you guys see it? Sorry, my light is like right here. So it's really quite natural. Like it looks like I've got embroidery or something. Oh, not bad. This top keeps like uh, riding up. But anyway, this is what my brows look like now. Uh, they just look like I've done. I've drawn my brows and. Yeah, I didn't feel any irritation or whatever, but maybe I have to like clean off some more residue. And yeah, so I guess this is it. How you guys like it? So if you're someone who has an issue with drawing your brows every day or you take a lot of time drawing your brows, you can definitely give this a try. But if your brows um, look good enough or you prefer drawing them on by all means, but the thing is that I have makeup on so the brows don't look too harsh. I'm not sure how it'll look like after I remove my brows. No, after I remove my makeup so keep that in mind. And also the fact that it only comes in three shades. So if you want to shade in between or like they don't have your colour, uh, it's going to be a bit tough for you. And uh, it's actually quite affordable. I can't remember how much it was because I bought it from Korea. But I believe that in this tube you can get quite a few users and basically um, one application lasts about one week to two weeks, right? Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm not sure how much or how well it fares against like makeup removers, whether different makeup removers will make it fade faster or whatever. I guess that's the end of this video and if you guys would like me to try out more stuff like these, uh, do let me know or leave this a thumbs up and I'll check back with you guys next time. Bye-bye!